I came to West Broad in 2000. 2011. 2007. 2005. In 2012, 2003, 2002, 2001, 2003, 2003, 2003, 2003, 21. May of 2022. 2022. My favorite West Broad memory would be meeting an amazing man who became my husband this year. Pastor Nee Smith was fellowshipping with me one night. We were singing a song and it was like one of those nostalgic songs from like back in the day. And he started singing it, but it was wrong. It, it wasn't what I was used to. And I was looking so confused. And he simply asked me, he was like, well, how do you sing it? And I was like, well, this is how I know it to be sung. And he let me sing it. And he was like, okay, well, then we could do that. So for him to be willing to listen to this 19-year-old that just walked in the brand new into the church and, and switched the song was, was very meaningful. Okay. I love Friends and Family Day. It's when we went to the ladies' lectureship in Washington, D.C., and I fell over in the tub in a bathroom. The sisters laughed at me. I mean, I was the joke of the season, but I didn't really care because I had a good time. <laughs> I think it was friends and family. One year in particular, and sometimes I don't like to bring it up, but I lost my daughter during one of those times. And the way that the church reached out to me, it was beautiful. Uh, I think one of the plays that we did here, and my son was in the, he was a scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz. So um, that, that's a great memory here at West Broad. So we were out um, canvassing the area. <laughs> I think Brother Neesmith was somewhere down the street, so we were standing on the corners and everybody see Brother Nisra. <laughs> Actually, my first visit in 2006 because it was the annual Ladies' Day and I was absolutely blown away by what I saw, the way I felt, and just to witness the love of God and the fellowship, it was absolutely awesome. I would say I like the vacation Bible schools. The first vacation Bible school we came to because it was here inside the building. Um, and it was interactive. It wasn't the typical vacation Bible school where it's just classes. They had games and everyone's running around and it was just a lot of fun. It was the adults came and they participated with the kids. And so um, it just kind of solidified why we came here. Our clothing drives. My favorite one was last year in 2022 when a little girl got her first pair of rain boots. I'm still here because I like the way Brother James break everything down. Um, you can come as you are. Like they, he really, everybody really practice what they preach. So that's why I like it. Because the people are real, and the the idea. I mean, I've been to other congreg. I've been a member at other congregations, and none I feel will compare with West Broad. Even though I love my brothers and sisters at the other congregations that I've been to, I love West Broad. It really feels like family. It, the people really care, and that's what kept me here. Be family, you know, friends. It's just all. It's a wonderful experience. I'm still at West Broad because I like the way Brother Jane brings the message. Um, he breaks it down to you. He demonstrates uh, what's going on in the Word and in society today. Uh, the education. Um, and just being uplifted. Um, the work week could be long, but I use the folks here to get me through the week. One time your old man said something from the pulpit that made me want to fight him, but better not fight him in the parking lot. There's too many knee smiths in the church. Because he said something that really applied to me personally. And I'm like, yo, dude, you talking to me? <laughs> that, that stuck with me. Because I was used to sermons about sending other people to hell and we okay <laughs> and i'm like yo bro you're supposed to be sending these other people to hell leave me alone but but he's you know he's he he preaches sermons that apply to me that that help build me up to make me a better person because of the love of the saints here is just overwhelming and i feel that i'm where i belong i'm still at west broad because um i've learned so much from brother Neesmith smith and um i just appreciate the way he delivers his messages the relationships, um, the fellowship. Um, I love James. I love his preaching. And I definitely love his singing. Sometimes his singing takes me back, way back, back to the day for me, back home in the country. We sing all those old hymns. 
and um, I get to sway it in the rock and like, yep, I can feel it. Um, West Broad is home. It's a, uh, it's comforting. Um, you're never, I never felt like a stranger when I came here. Um, everyone was inviting. Everyone was welcoming. And you don't have to be dressed to the nines. You don't have to be, um, you know, sit quietly on the pew and amen. It's just, it's very at home. Never change the formula. And the formula is good. The recipe is good. And those who want good food, they will benefit from it. I wish we could duplicate it and expose the entire world to it because this right here works. Continue to trust the Lord. I mean, this is one of the greatest places I've ever been to, one of the greatest churches. So just keep being West Broad and keep, you know, encouraging people and keep being that, you know, light that the world can look at. That we continue to cultivate the love and, uh, and that we continue to pray for one another. And that was, if we remember that God is not a God of confusion and that he's there for us. And that if our mission is to bring people to Christ, then that will happen. Keep doing what you're doing, remembering that we are about community, connection, and be productive in the work in the kingdom. Amen. Well, I would say, you know, get to know God for yourself. Because as you go through life with challenges, ups and downs, he is our warrior, our fighter, and he is with us always when ain't nobody else with us. Just to keep, to keep God first and to keep loving each other and encouraging each other. Read the Bible for application. What does this mean to me? How do I put the word in my heart so that I live it, not just know what it says? I would say just keep the family atmosphere. Um, I, I love the environment we have here at West Broad. I would say don't give up. We do a lot of good works for the community here. We do um, the Caritas. Um, I love the Mother's Day brunch that we had there for um, the moms. Um, we do things, we do the clothing drive. Um, there's just a lot of things that we do in the community and just in general when people walk by and they just stop in and they see us. So I think we are definitely being seen and noticed. So just keep pushing. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Happy anniversary and many more. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Yes. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Yes. <laughs> what up? Happy anniversary, West Broad. Happy anniversary, West Broad. <laughs> Happy anniversary, West Broad Church of Christ, Richmond, Virginia. Happy anniversary, West Broad. We love you, West Broad. Yes, we love you. Yes. Yo, happy anniversary, West Broad. Show me right. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Happy anniversary, West Broad. Oh, happy anniversary, West Broad. <laughs>